Morning everybody. Uh, just having a brew Saturday morning in my living room and I thought I'd do a, a bit of an update before tomorrow's draw. Uh, what's happened during the last week? We've got rid of 600 quid worth of beer, so that's good. Because otherwise it'd have probably gone out of date and we'd have lost the money. Uh, so that's a positive. We've no more beer left now uh, at the club. Um, big, that's, big thank you to Neil Fay at Yorkshire Beers for taking the taking the beer back so we didn't get left with a load of uh, load of draft beer so that's worked well in our favour and we started the role of honour for the NHS workers which is absolutely brilliant um, anybody who's not seen it you need to get on our website and look at the people uh, connected to our club who are doing a, a great job uh, in this crisis helping the um, everybody uh, in the hospitals the NHS workers and the care homes uh, helping people get through it as best they can and doing an absolutely brilliant job and it's just to try to personalise that and thank individuals rather than just referring to everybody as uh, in a group as NHS workers so a couple of positive things there every morning I get up and I look at Tom Moore's page a Yorkshire lad from Keithley 99 soon to be 100 I think it's absolutely brilliant I've just looked this morning 21 and a half million just about so I'm thinking if we could write to him and get him as a, a fundraiser at Batley Bulldogs, I think he'd do a tremendous job. Uh, we can't knock it. Uh, so when it's all over, we'll see what we can do. Uh, Morning needs to take a leaf out of his book, I think. So back to the draw. Uh, last week, uh, we... what? Let me have a look now. Let me have a look at the facts. We made £934 on the draw. Uh, which brings the total on over the three weeks that we've run it so far to £3,338. That's our fighting fund, uh, ready for when we get back playing, who knows when. But uh, the, the more we build that fund up, the better equipped we'll be to cope and to get through this at the end. Um, the draw was sponsored again, so thank you to Stuart and Gwyneth Merton. Uh, brilliant, uh, and the winner was Bradley Foster, who then agreed that he's going to sponsor a draw in the future as well. So we've now got uh, all draw sponsored to the end of May. So by the 31st of May, which if you don't know is my birthday, uh, we'll have had 10 draws, um, and that's what we're working to, and then we'll take it from there after that. Whether we're going to be back in June, who knows. Um, this week's draw is sponsored by an anonymous supporter who did this right at the beginning, uh, shortly after John Atkinson. We've referred to him as Mr T, or I've referred to him as Mr T. So a big thank you to him uh, for being yet another sponsor and doing, uh, doing well for the club. So it's at half-time tomorrow, we're back to Sunday again. Uh, we just need to get everybody buying tickets today and tomorrow, uh, not, not to forget so that we have another successful draw. Half time on Sunday. What game have we got on Sunday? In my lifetime, the biggest game that's been played at Mount Pleasant, at the Fox's Biscuit Stadium. Uh, we're going back to 1994. Wardy's team playing Doncaster. We were on the back of an 11 uh, match undefeated run. And we had to win that game to get in the top flight. 1994. I think Barley uh, declared about 4,000 at the gate. And sorry, he declared 7,000, did he? But there were more than that there. We know that and Barley knows that as well. Um, it was clearly the biggest gate we've, uh, that I've seen at Mount Pleasant. And it was a what an atmosphere it was that day. Um, I'm just looking at the teams I'm looking at the team sheets and two names I've picked out from the Doncaster team Sonny Wakaru who played for Batley was a popular lad at Batley and Max Tomlinson who played for Doncaster and also played for Batley and is Keenan's dad so see how he goes on I think Keenan might be watching uh, closely so he can uh, criticise his dad and say he wasn't as good as him um, so that's an interesting people on the other side our side was a tremendous team at the time um, obviously we had Tom Owen Bovey and we had 
you just look at the team, Scotty, what that team is Wardy's team, and we, whenever we have a, um, a reunion, a lot of those t uh, team members are, are normally there, and that shows the camaraderie and the team spirit uh, and uh, the strength of characters that we had then, and it was a tremendous game. And we've, we're showing uh, clips that were shown at the time of a few people being interviewed, so you never know, you might be on that clip. And one poignant, I think that's a good word, isn't it? Poignant comment was by Jim McVeigh, uh, going back all those years. And he said, I think it's going to be a close game and it's going to hinge on one incident. And he said that before the game. So, Jim, I'm going to say the same thing. I think this summer is going to be a close game and it's going to hinge on one incident, maybe two. Maybe two. But uh, I'm really looking forward to it. Not necessarily looking forward to the result, shall we say. Uh, but it's just going back down memory lane, uh, thinking about what happened then and remembering being there on the day. So, I think mean, that's all I've got to say this week. Let's see if we can get it over 4,000 in our... Uh